thought we'd make, make it out. Cause we didn't take the safer route. Safer now it's ownership and bank accounts. The beef with that cake about. Young and black on that paper route. They never thought we'd make it out. Hey, look. Must be the mayor, and I got two, two big, big, uh, big. Goddamn! Nah, for real. We got two <laughs> big metaverse uh, personalities to my right. We got Cartoon Five Three. You know what I'm saying? Off the east side, out the Fifty South Park. You know what I mean? To the left, we got my boy Poetic Flacco. I call him PF. Yes, sir, North man. Dakota's very own, very controversial. Yeah, man. You know. Yeah, man. And we in here. We got, we got, we got, we got two different perspectives. Three, well, not three different generations. You ain't that much younger than me. What you nah. like? Uh, I'm 26. Okay, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm 34, so yeah, you there. Well, you older than me. Yeah, man. Oh, 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 right. uh, listen, it's the beard, bro. I'm telling you, yo, it's my beard that be getting it, man. Feel I'm right? cloud, I'm cloudy. Oh, oh, also, too, so much you probably like, can't see, right? But I came in because the last episode, they were roasting my thighs. So I came in with, with some bigger jeans. You feel me? Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Size is looking too hey, big hey, now, hey, right? Hey, 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 bro, you got to up the size, bro. Yeah, oh, yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I ain't going to even lie, man. You you, you kind of fit, but now you straight today, though. You, you yeah. good today. Because you don't wear no 38, bro. So, okay. Who, who told you that? And that was the problem, right? So my jeans I, that I was wearing was like a 38, 40. But when I went and checked, I'm a 42, 44, you feel me? 44. For real? Yeah. What? I'm a 52. I'm a 50. How? Like, you have like a, like, like, uh. These are, these are like 50, 52s. You yeah, have a small fit. waist though, so how? No, uh, I don't. Oh, uh, no? Damn. I don't think I do. Yeah. Let, let my wife tell me I don't. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> damn. That's what she say. <laughs> Right, I, but I, no, I know I wear at least a fifty for real though. Oh damn! In the ways, yeah. I'm happy you up the size, bro. <laughs> yeah, man, feel me. You can't, you can't be coming out in public with me with the, the, the nah, man, man, with the me. joints. You feel me? Yeah, man, you feel with me? The, with the skin, with the uh, the, the extra large skinny jeans. Man, uh, the, the, football, yeah. the, the, the football pants wasn't working, bro. Uh, yeah, man, feel me? Right, no, but though I'm up the size now, so this is a forty four and it's mad baggy. You feel me? So you know. Yeah. Okay. See, you was in Vegas. You had a little female with you and all that. See, see, you change your pants size and look at the the look. You know what I'm saying? Yo, hey, listen, cause listen, like leaving a like listen, like coming back and on an open market has has been the best thing to ever happen to like my life, right? Because I never understood my worth and where I stacked up. Okay. In the open market until I got into the open market, right? Mm. Like for example. Like the girl that I was with, right? Uh, like had about like three hundred like thousand followers, right? Mm -hmm. So I never thought that I could bag a IG famous bitch, right? Mm -hmm. And I've been running through them now. You feel me? So 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 you got some pussy now? Man, man, social media gonna bring them out the woodwork. Yeah, man. Once, you, once, they, once they get to knowing you and, and seeing you. You oh, you got the pop pop. Yeah. Then nah. you get to the point where you might be over here talking, doing some. And they over there like, you know what I'm saying, with the look. No, hey, but, but Tom, he ain't had no coochie since since college or some shit. So now yeah. you hit, you just recently college. hit some? Uh, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah. Right? But and, oh, On listen, purpose, though, right? Yeah, right. Okay. Because my girl was like, was deeply religious. And so I thought, you feel me? Right. It turns out she's one of the most scandalous hoes I don't ever met. Right? No, but though, you feel me? But, you know. I don't talk about, you know, yeah, you like, you you know sex life, you know. You take it in shot, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, man, feel me? But, hey, listen, man, now that I'm, I'm like, in the open market, bro, and truly understood, like, what I'm worth, bro, I'm, bro, like, I'm pissed off that I ain't, like, you know, that like. That you waited. Yeah, bro, bro. Sky's the limit. Yeah, bro, right, like, right, I'm, so, so, I'm pissed. So, 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 so you about to get up on Ash Bash or no? I'm gonna be real, bro. And Ash Bash don't want me, man. Feel me, miss? man. Yeah, man. Feel me? Yeah, right. I don't believe it. I little little listen. Yeah, so but that, she probably don't want to voice it publicly. Yeah. You, you slide in the DM, do your big one. You know what I'm saying? See what, uh -huh. you, what you come she out. Might as well go after Adam's wife. You right there with her. And see, like, <laughs> you giving right? her to everybody else. Uh, see though, right? See right? But like, I don't like white women though. No, you feel me? I ain't mad at I you. can't hey, that's do a, it with me. That's surprising coming from you for some reason, brother. Why? I'm pro black. Why? Pro you know that. Me. Now you, you would know, think you, know, you would. You, huh? you got Oreo statements that come out often. You know what I'm saying? You know that. Here, yeah, right? Okay. But well, I'm glad to hear that. Here, yeah, right? But I feel like people have to like have to like differentiate between 
what is trolling and what is me being dead serious. No, you know no, no, no. And, and and that's that that's all about to ask you because yeah. cause I, I holler at you and uh I don't get what everybody else get, and that's how I opened up uh spider to you. Of course. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like oh, cause they just the internet shit. Of course. But and then some some bullshit you still stand on. Like, okay, okay, you 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 did the uh and I can kind of see why, because you, you probably don't fully understand though. Yeah. And but you 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 did a cool interview with with, with Six Honey. It was cool. Yeah. Oh, you interviewed Six. Yeah. And guess what? He called me the other day. Uh, yeah, me too. Right. Listen. So I asked all the questions that everybody I like like um have been asking, right? Which is who put you on, mm -hmm. when and where, mm -hmm. right? For that's that's gonna be a long answer for that one, right? Well, hey, listen, is he like, and he gave a really good answer. You know, like he said, two thousand and three. He was, I think, like 20 years old, right? So, um, and then I asked, you know, about all of like the rumors where, where, like, where, like, where, like, folks been saying that he was like a police in Habak and whatever it was, right? And he said it's not true. So, I, I listen, and I, I asked every question, and they still got mad at me for asking the right questions because they claim it's not my business. You know what? So many people dislike 600. Yeah. That no matter what you do, yeah. If it's six hundreds involved with <laughs> yeah. it, you're not gonna be right. Yeah, they get mad at me because I keep saying me and six hundred do not have a problem. Yeah, of course. But I don't have a I don't have a problem with him. Now what his now what his politics is on the west side and his set whatever they got going that's their business to me. When he deals with me, it's on you know it's on a, yeah. what we just talking about thing. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Joe Kudo? huh? Oh, I'm cool with six hundred. Well, I ain't look, got a problem. Look, so maybe it's because like I'm falling into like the clickbait, right? Because I'm deep into the Cali banging Reddit, right? Right. And when you pulled up like to LA, like the Grim Reaper, we assumed that Cartoon was coming to really give six hundred the business. Now let me straighten that one out. Yeah. When I, I first, never, I on, never believed that. Yeah. That first off, I was I was already on my way to LA because of my set day. Yeah. It just so happens everything that happened with six hundred and my homies. Fell in, fell in right when I was okay. on my way. So, but now when it happened, I was coming for my set day, but I was also coming to straighten out a situation with my homies on that one. Mm -hmm. You know, believe it or not, six hundred didn't do nothing wrong. I mean, I, I'm, I'm gonna keep it. I'm gonna keep it a million. Mm -hmm. They called him and asked him to come over there. Mm -hmm. He didn't call them and ask them, could he come over there? They or the Compton Crypto. The, the, when, okay, when the, the Compton's called him, right. when the Compton asked my homie right. first, is it all right? And they said, yeah. So when they got a 600, he was like, all right, 600 immediately called me. And that was the right thing to do. Right. And so I'm like, he said, I'm going to the park. I'm like, what park? South Park. Well, wait, wait, hold on. What, what's going on? So when he told me, I'm like, hold on, let me make a call, my homie. Look, wait, 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 wait. I called my homies. And I say, look, y'all got 600 coming up here? They like, yeah, man, woo. I said, now listen, y'all sure you want him up here? Mm -hmm. They was like, yeah, man, woo. I said, all right, now, wherever he goes, it's going to be a whole lot of controversy. If y'all ready for that, it's on y'all. We cool, man, you know, it ain't no thing. All right? I say, now listen, don't put me in it because I'm knowing it's going to fall back in my lap. I say, look, do not mention me. Don't put me in it. Mm -hmm. I still got kind of drug into it. So when he come up there, he did not come up there on some um, BS. Yeah, BS about Big yeah. U. Facts. They asked him this mess. Facts. That they opened the door for. But you know, so many people hate Six Hundred about that situation. Mm -hmm. That oh, it's Six Hundred's fault. Blah 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 blah. Nah, I, you know what I'm saying. I, you know, I, I, hey, I'm not gonna never. I'm gonna call a ball a ball, strike a strike. My homies kind of dropped the ball on that one. Mm -hmm. And they opened up the door for that. Then they, you know, turned around, tried to straighten it out a little bit, mm -hmm. and it kind of went left, right, up, down. You right, know what I'm saying? Right. But mm -hmm. it it was one of them things. I mean, anything regarding uh, regarding Avalon, your name gonna get drugging it today. Period. Immediately like, today, yeah. Immediately. If it's Avalon's in Alaska, yo, your name's to go. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Do hey. Cartoon know? Yeah. You know, do Cartoon know? Kev Mac did the interview with uh Sinbad from Full Trade the other day. My, uh, man, my DM, my man, look, Toon, what you gotta say about that? Mm -hmm. I don't got nothing to say about it. it. Got nothing to do with me, even though I did eventually respond. Mm -hmm. But you know, hey, social media. We live in the social media world. And that's fact. Hey, hey, no, no, you responded right. You you only responded to two things, and you didn't give them give them what like typically what they wanted. Though. Right, you right, right. I ain't, you know, see, this is what I tell people all the time. 
I don't know what they got going on in other sections. When I say sections, I mean, you know, other sets, other games. Mm -hmm. We, Fire Travel Line got a protocol, homie. I'm a general in my section, but if I say or do the wrong thing, I get called to the mat Everybody, like anybody else. You yeah, know what held, I'm saying? Held accountable. Yeah, we, we, our thing is ain't no one man bigger than the program. If I get on this internet and get goofy and go to saying stuff, dissing people's sets and uh, talking out the side of my neck, man, no, that phone, man, my phone going to melt. Uh -huh. What you doing? Why you do? Man, we need you at the park, homie. I'm talking in Alabama, not not talking to me on the phone. No, get on a plane and get back to South Park. We need to deal with this because you messing up. That's why I, I go out my way. I try to watch it and and like I'll if I make a video, I'll play it back. That's why I don't do reactions because you doing a reaction, you speaking on somebody else turf, another person yeah. or something like that. I'd like now. Nah, I got so many prison stories and street gang stories. I'm going to just stick with this, and I know I can't go wrong. And that, even when I do that, I try, I try not to mention they said or the people's name because they're going to get butthurt about that. Mm -hmm. They're they so sensitive. Yeah. If y'all shot at me and I shot at y'all and I say it, what's the problem? It happened. Yeah. But I, now I, I say, well, this set that we don't get along with shot at me and boom, 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 try to leave it at that. They still going to nitpick. Hey, hey look. I personally know, right, about the sensitivity. Trust me. I Listen, I am a first-hand example, man, of sensitivity, right? Well, well you can go, though. You can go. Right? You, 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 you got to do You can go. <laughs> what, when you latch on to something, yeah. man, listen, if, 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 if you, when you do a video, if, if you latch on to it and you want to hit them hard, you hit them hard. You hit them hard. See, I, when, I, when I was first watching you, I'm like, okay. I would see it, you know what I'm saying, back with the uh, the academics and yeah. all that. I'm like, all right, cool. I'm listening. You know, I'll go my thing. But now what made me, my ears kind of go, Rink. Yeah, first. When you keyed in on the L.A. game culture. Yeah. And that video you made, um, you were saying it's silly, it's stupid. I'm like, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. I'm listening. I'm like, no, that's when I kind of, I was like, hey, man, what you doing? What you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Boom. So, Nick, let me ask you this now that we here. Yeah. What is it about L.A. gang culture that you really don't understand? And I'm going to explain it to you from the horse's yeah. mouth. Yeah. Right? So, look. So, I go out my way, right, just to say, like, gang culture, right? And, like, I, I've never truly just honed in on L.A. gang culture, right? I've always said just street and gang culture because, listen, I understand the need for a brotherhood, right? I just never understood um, why peace and civility has never been an option. Meaning this, right? Fam, listen, bro. Like, we all understand that, you know, due to white, you know, like due to white fragility, white supremacy, we got put into a fucked up situation, right? We're in abstract poverty. We're behind the eight ball. And we need to get out. And our only way out is to craft a comfortable environment for our babies to go to school, be productive, go to college, and find a way out. But if the violence that we, like, it's the violence that we, like, that we undertake, and, like, is that violence and the aftermath of what that causes has made the environment for our babies uncomfortable, has made it rigorous, have made it impossible to overcome or damn near impossible. And I'm saying, we all know what needs to be done. Why can't we do it? Okay, let me let me, let me, let me go all the way back to the beginning. Um, let's say, okay, before Crips and Bloods ever came out, yes. LA had gangs. They're, they're gangs, you know, gangs were there since the 40s and the 50s. Even before then, uh, when they just when they just had in um you know areas that blacks lived in, Sucks. it was always strife. It was always ups and downs, turns around. Um, I try to explain to people, even if there were not gangs in L.A., there would still be mess. Absolutely. It would still be you know fights, shootings, just like in the places that didn't have gangs. They still got into it. Now let's go like we gonna go all the way back to before them other folks brought us over here. Mm -hmm. In Africa, you had 50 million different tribes. Absolutely. Do you believe all those tribes got along? No. No, they didn't. 
they killed each other, they slaughtered each other. Then when the white man came, they was they was killing each other and selling other tribe members to the white folks. It sucks. So, you know, people have got into it from since the beginning of time, not yeah. just in, in Africa, in the black culture, but the Europeans, the Asians, everywhere. There's always going to be strife. There's anytime you have a place where you have a lot of people in one. You're going to have a certain group that want to dominate another group. Absolutely. And this group is going to latch on to this group to try to help protect themselves from the dominant group. And that's kind of the same thing that's going on with, that happened with L.A. Um, once we left the old gangs, 1969, when we started cripping and blooding, um, it was cool for a hot second. Mm. But, of course, dealing with young men, testosterone, um, we went to a party in your area, you stepped on my shoe or you bumped my homegirl. Now it, go, it starts with a fist fight. A fist fight turns into a shooting. Now we hate you for the next thirty years. Yeah, and that's kind of how L.A. That's kind of like how L.A. was, man. And but only thing is, I will admit, when L.A. took to that to to that lifestyle, they took to that lifestyle, you know. Mm. And they set the trend for all the drama that goes on around the United States. Um, to me, when I was younger, I couldn't see it as being silly. I couldn't see it as being. Um, you know, um, negative. I couldn't see it as being counterproductive to the growth of our black people. You know what I'm saying? Yes, I couldn't yes. see that yes, because sir. I was a product of my environment. Yes. And in our environment, we were taught by our older homies and raised by our older homies to do it this way, this way, to walk this way, this way, to say it this way, this way, to put your hands up this way, this way. Everything we did was taught by them. So us coming up as 12, 13, 14, 15s, when you indoctrinate a, a child whose mind not all the way developed yet, yeah. when you indoctrinate them to gang bang and do it like this, yeah. they take to it whole heart. We don't know nothing else. Right. We ain't learned nothing else. We haven't been showed anything else. That's what come now in this day and age, in our older age, we learning, hey man, we've been doing this a million years. Let's do something different. Right. And like you say, adversity brings togetherness. Yeah. Adversity brings unity. If it was not for the the induction of all the Hispanics, yeah. and especially on the east side of L.A., yeah. we would probably be killing each other at a rate that would be phenomenal. Yeah. But because so many Hispanics came in, you got brothers waking up slowly but surely now. Yeah. Hey, man. Because we saying on the east side, you know, you got the Comptons with the root thing they got going on. The Raymonds on the west side, you know, re out, you know reaching their hand out to different sets. Now, we on the east side... Waking up, reaching our hand out to each other, saying, "Hey, man, if we keep going at the rate we going, there will there will be no more blacks sure. on the east side." But that, but 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 that's what I'm saying. Why 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 would he said that don't get highlighted? You know what I'm saying? Of course. That like what they was doing at the park when 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 600 went that day. Mm -hmm. That's all they talk about is was 600 up there that day and all the little the the, the, the drama shit. But they was they was on some peace shit that day. You know what I'm saying? Of course. And it's hoods that that don't belong up that, at that park and won't usually be there. They was there that day. You know what I'm saying? Of course. But 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 yeah. That don't why why, why nobody cover that though? Sure. Well, one is because of this, right? Um, like because it gather, don't get clicks. Listen, right? So look, so so again, like that's a good thing, right? And that's needed, right? To gather and fellowship and just grow a certain level of humanity and love for another black man, right? But I feel like where like things like it's like kind of like things break down is when I've talked to a lot of gang members and they are principled and moral human beings, right? But when it comes to the practice and the hierarchy and how things are governed, it feels like principles aren't really there. Like, like for example, if somebody joins two to three homies and go to a, a rapper's house and rob them and, and, uh, and kill them, why is there not some stricter, stiffer punishment towards those people who got up out their home that day to go rob another black man and kill them? You know what? As far as who? P punishment from who? Like, like from the other gang members. No. Hey, but but hold on, hold on, hold on. Uh, and I ain't trying to. Uh, 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 it ain't cool to do that, right? Yeah. But who is this victim you speaking of, though? Like no, it, just in general, yeah, right? Yeah, okay, yeah. okay, okay. But but let's let something happen to a kid and a straight bullet a kid. They supposed to be held accountable, beat their ass, or give them the boot. Facts. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Or like, but but a robbery gone wrong. Like, well, I, 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 I don't get it. Uh, 
The, and then that type of shit happened outside a of games. robbery in general. I think they should say, bro, hey, homie, listen, if they not the enemy, they should be left alone. Meaning, bro, if that black man worked his entire life and slave to the ground to have a million dollar home for his family, rapper, lawyer, doctor, leave them niggas alone. Hey, do you? Be, I'm saying do, uh, for the shit you say, yeah. or then you 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 got discrepancies against. Do you got any solutions for it? Of, of course, or right? just a, just a, just a, just yeah. a, just a, a YouTube video. The crimes you talking about are yeah. non gang crimes, just a regular robbery. Yeah, sure. Because the, the conversation went from gang related stuff, and then you you kind of pivoted to just general crime. No, 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 no right? Yeah, here. but 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 the, but he signed up to say everybody do crimes. Period. No, no, Bloods, no, no. Crips, yeah, uh, J yeah, Jamaican, sure, right? uh, Caucasian. Not a gang problem. That's just a human problem. Right. Wait, the, wait, the, wait the, listen, right? No, sure, but if gangs are structured organizations. And if a gang member goes out of his way to do some shit like robbing a home down the block, I think that that should be met with stiff punishment and consequences from the gang hierarchy. Well, right, well, well, what about the people that don't gang bang that do the same thing you're describing? Then let the cops handle them. No, let me <laughs> let me jump in. Let, let me kind of jump in. Now. <clears throat> All right. For instance, like anything that goes on in LA, this what a lot of people, this what a lot of people they missing. In L.A., we not new to this. When I'm saying new to this, I'm speaking on the gang culture. Mm -hmm. We not new to this. We true to this. Now, in a lot of different places, they have the mentality, okay, well, we going to do this till we're 22. Mm -hmm. Then we going to quit, and they go off and do something else. Mm -hmm. And, I, you know, when you have that type of mentality, I say, okay, I say that's a fad. Well, you, uh, it's you, not a fad in L.A. You never was in it. We've like been that. doing it so long. It is our culture now. You know what I'm saying? It's in our DNA. It's our history. You know, we don't even look at it as something we just doing. It's a rite of passage. We've been gang banging in LA so long, man. It's like a lot of times we don't it don't know anything different. You know, you come up, you going to follow suit. Boom boom boom. Mama did it, daddy did it. In this day and age, you can say grandma did it, grandpa, mama, daddy, now me and my kids going to do it. But now the thing is it's a tribe. Mm -hmm. Let's say me and let's say me and Munchie from the same set. Mm -hmm. If Munchie do something to you, mm -hmm. even though it, even though it, it it might be out of character or whatever, it might be a heinous crime. As far as we concerned, we ain't tripping because this is my homeboy. You're not. Yeah, fair. you feel what I'm saying. So yeah. whatever he do to you, especially if you grown, we ain't finna trip on the homie for that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Now you know, of course, if you do something with kids and all that, you know that's that's universal. No bueno. Yeah, you know course. what I'm saying? But yeah, um, just be, if, if the homies that do stuff to other, you not you not my tribe, homie. Yeah. So you know I'm not we not finna trip on our own tribe for what one of ours did to somebody else. Hey, but yeah. uh, to, but but to just victimize somebody like you know what I'm saying like in our hood we we know who grass to stay up off of. Right. You know what I'm saying we bailing on the street. We might help somebody with their groceries into the house. You know what I'm saying we know everything over there and shit. Just and and, and where I'm from, our the neighbors ain't scared of the homies. Like they, like they stay grandsons or they don't watch this their whole life. And ain't nobody just targeting no, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, look though, right? But gangs are the most powerful tools in the black community. And it's a shame that it's often used for bad instead of good. Like, for example, right? You don't highlight the good, bro. Look, 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 look bro, like for example, right? Do you think gangs are more influential in the black community than the rap music? No, 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 right, but like, like, here, right, like, 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 here, right, for example, right, if you like drive for 20 minutes, right, and go to Long Beach, you see six foot eight Goliath black men who, bro, if they, yo, if we all come together, meaning, bro, a cartoon, a 600, a DW flame standing together and saying, hey, cops, we dare y'all to violate, right? Yo, like, Gangs could be the most powerful tools in terms of an army, a black militia, and could really govern and regulate shit. And I, I'm saying, why not use that for good instead of bad? You feel me? Which is like robbing, killings, you know, dictating shit, right? When, bro, we could really use the most powerful tool we have for good. Hey, 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 hey. So, all right, so, so you're going to start doing some shit where you, where you highlight when it come across your desk when, when like, of course. the gangbanger do some upstanding shit? Of course. Like Jab 5, when, when the little, the corn ladies and them people that, that they, 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 uh, was getting robbed and shit, he figured out which one of his homies did it. Mm -hmm. And like you, you, earlier, he, 
he 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 uh he chastised me. He he got on his homie, whooped on him. You know what I'm saying? Wait, on that shit. Wait, 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 though. So you just named something positive, right? That Jeff Five. I could name a lot of it for some Mexicans, right? No, he, 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 it's it's our community. Everybody's supposed to feel safe. Period. Though, yeah. so they them come over here and they selling they low. Oh, sure. You know what I'm saying? And he didn't feel that. You know what I'm saying? After he seen yeah. the. The, the 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 reaction on the internet like and he felt it wasn't cool he took it upon himself he wasn't told to he figured out which one of his homies took part in that and he got at yeah. him of course no it was a right, little, yeah. hold on let me straighten that yeah. one out it's a, it was a little bit different from that okay. okay what motivated him to go that route what he did was because when his homies robbed the little Mexican truck yeah they jumped on the internet and made it seem like Jap did it. Oh, so the backlash from the Hispanic community was directed at Jap, his mama, his kids. Mm -hmm. We gonna do this and do that. So you know he had to like, wait a minute, hold on, y'all tripping on me? I ain't did nothing to none of y'all. So when he found out which one of his homeboys did it, he like, man, hey man, y'all put my whole family in danger with cool. that with them lies and them foolishness. That's why he whooped on them. Yeah, but he done, he done, it's gonna happen. You'll get a call too. Uh, Avalon do the same thing. That that just being the face at the time. You know what I'm saying? Right, right, right. Now, I, now I will say, me personally, I I would have done it a little different. If I would, I would have got at my homies, mm -hmm. but it wouldn't have been filmed. Mm. I'm not finna film me whooping my homies just to impress no Mexicans. Gotcha. You know, we we'd have been in the backyard. Nah. We'd, have, we'd have handled our business mm -hmm. and left it at that. You know. No, nah, but I said that to say, but like. When them type of things come across so your your desk, like why you know what I'm saying ain't no Sure. Love for example, right? So look, so I've told people on Clubhouse this, right? Bro, Jeff Five could have been the next tank, right? His squabbles is immaculate. He's in some great shape. And I feel like gang banging has sort of set him back because, bro, Jeff Man, Fox, what about highlighting the good shit instead of the... Sure. The, man, that's what I'm he's talking about. He's a great rapper. He's a great human being, right? He's a good right? But I feel like game banking has been a net negative in his life instead of a net positive. Meaning, bro, like, Jeff Fox could have been a, a Floyd Mayweather, a tank. You feel me? See, I, I, I don't I, think nobody... I kind of know what he's saying. Because, no, but, but don't nobody fully agree that game banking uh, did him like a, a hell of a service. That took a big chunk out of your life. Yeah, that's what I was gonna yeah. say. We, ain't nobody Do you know how that? many black men come up out of L.A. Man, yeah. that that spent their whole life in Hawaii and in prison yeah. could have been man. I'm talking about the most immaculate athlete that you ever Absolutely. run across. I threw a a box full of football scholarships away because mm -hmm. I chose the street. You know what that's, I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But that's why I go back to being a product of my environment. Mm -hmm. Now, if I would have been indoctrinated with this, with this sports and all this old stuff at a young age, which I kind of semi was, but the streets raise your kids. Mom and daddy don't raise your kids. When you leave that, when you leave the house that morning and go to those public schools, what you see at school, what you hear at school from your little partners, boom, yeah. that sticks in your head. When you come home, change your school clothes, and you go outside and play. Your big homies you see, your homies that you run with, yeah. you see that. That's what indoctrinates you. So here it is. You got mama talking about, baby, go play football. Go uh, shoot basketball. Go do something. Go to school. But everybody outside mm -hmm. got a rag in their back pocket now, yeah. writing something on the wall and hanging. And so at a young age, that's going. it's nine times out of ten, it's going to win out every time. That's why I keep saying we become a product of our environment. Right. Until our environments change, Absolutely. it's going to be hard for the youth to change because our environment in LA is gang related. Hey, but see, see, like, like I just, I was just watching some shit and with, with uh, Monster Cody, and then it went to Monster Cody's mom, and she, she's kind of blaming herself. She's like, I just think if I didn't have to work two or three jobs, I could have spent more time around Cody and had, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Cause she was at work. So like, yeah. when you- Single parent work, household going to you're work. You're not wrong though, right? The park down the yeah. street, Darby Park go babysit. Cause you up there, you know yeah, what I'm saying? the streets. And, and you ain't, like a lot of, it, I, I'm saying, instead of making the videos and talking about who's sure. stupid and you talking about they, they mamas and all that little shit. Yeah. Well, well, like, well, like, what's up with solutions though? Yeah, yeah, right. Look at this, right? So look, right? So look, right? So look, like, I actually have like a video coming, right? Like. Where like I'm announcing, oh wait, I was wrong in terms of the free will aspect, right? Because um, it's Dr. Neil deGrasse Tyson, right? Just did like a piece, right? Like he says, listen, 
free will is a concept that don't exist. Meaning this, right? If I'm born in this environment, that environment, like, it trains and conditions just my psyche and involuntary yeah. reactions, right? So, for example, if a, a dude hits me, yes, I could choose to walk away, but my involuntary spasms have been trained and conditioned by this environment to react in these different ways. So, yes, I have free will, but if I'm choosing from, from shooting, <laughs> killing, being, well, is it really free will? Because each... The choice is gonna get me in jail, you know. You know, I'm, you know, I'm not even gonna say we had free will as a youth. Yeah. I don't believe we had free will until we got to a certain age. Yeah. And developed mentally. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's it, to learn real street right from wrong. Yeah. But as a youth, I only know what my environment taught me. Facts. I don't know. I don't. I don't know how to. Uh, Take a lick on the chin yeah. and say, you know what? I'm just going to let that go and go this way. Uh. Because from mama, daddy, older brothers, yeah. big homies, man, somebody hit you, fool, you better hit them back. You know what I'm saying? Of course. And it, and it gets in here. Everything that we taught as young kids, that's what we do. So the free will is taken. We have Absolutely. no free will. Now, a lot of times, yo, you got a lot of homies back, especially during my time, for, uh, 13, 14, 15, they catch whatever case they're going to catch. They go to Hawaii, mm -hmm. three, four, five years. Mm -hmm. Now they get out later on, they 21, 22. They've been in there reading. They've been up there learning, studying, mm -hmm. doing stuff. Now their mind has developed to the point to where they have free will to know, like, man, I ain't got to do that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because you're looking at free will. Mix free will and have it co collide with peer pressure. Absolutely. Peer pressure and free will are going to collide and fight every time. Yeah. And at a young age, in the ghetto, in the environment, in the hood we come from, yeah. uh, peer pressure is going to win. Of course. Every time. Oh, yeah, no, and you got experience, yes. experience and, and, and uh, m m maturity. That, that kid, I, man, I, what? I wouldn't have never uh, sat out across from no break baby. Kept, you feel me? Called me some years ago. Like, you know what I'm saying? Or, 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 or a Ron Ron. I don't care what. The age gap was, but like, you know, it's it's time to turn it wind on it, you know what I'm saying? Here, right? Right? And that's why I preach we have to create these comfortable environments earlier in life for these kids, right? Because if we teach a kid, yo, walking away is cool. Yo, being calm and patient is cool. Yo, listen, you don't have to crash out to be cool, right? If we teach this really early on, but then it's kind of again is Who's gonna teach it, right? Like, right, like, right, like, who's gonna be the ones who foster these comfortable environments when everybody has toxic masculinity to them? Let me ask you this: Yeah, what's the only thing on the planet in life that will that will always be a constant? It will always remain the same. There's only one thing mm -hmm. in the universe. I don't care where you at. That will always remain the same. And yeah. I ask people that all the time. They they give me all these crazy questions. Yeah. The only thing that will always remain the same. Yeah. Hold on. Let's see if he answers. You, you think you got an answer? Oh, I don't know. Air? <laughs> no, no, air Not even air. Change <laughs> yeah, it changes. Yeah, sure. It's change. Oh, that's true. You know why? Mm -hmm. Change will always come. Fact. You will never, ever in a 50 million billion years stop change from coming. Yeah. Sometimes it takes a little longer. Sometimes it comes faster. But change will always come. And that's what's going on. I'm, I'm, I'm glad and, and I'm blessed to be alive to see it happening in L.A. Mm -hmm. Change is coming mm -hmm. slowly but surely. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Before, before Crips and Bloods, L.A. was a certain type way. Mm -hmm. Oh, really? Change came. Bang. Yeah. Crips and Bloods came. Yeah. We ran our course. We, run, I mean, well, I'm gonna say we running our course. Yeah. But change is finally coming. That's why I say with the adversity, mm -hmm. with the adversity of the ethnicity uh, 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 unbalanced in LA now. Yeah. People waking up. People looking like, hold on, man, wait a minute. Our city's being taken from us. Our neighborhoods are being Absolutely. taken from us. Our areas are being taken from, especially on that east side. I, I no, I'm glad you you said the change thing, right? All right, because man, I wish I would have brushed up on it, but I could, I could I could still bring it up without you know what I'm saying. All right. All right, no, I'm a, all right, I'm a, I'm a, cause since I heard you say Alex's name during this thing, cause I was listening back on YouTube, you know I deleted that that clubhouse shit. That ain't for me, right? Oh, oh, oh right, yeah, right, I can right. do it, yeah. But I'm listening, I'm listening back, and you was like, you 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 let you love you let us say that you street niggas, you street niggas, y'all a walking contradiction. Yeah. Alex Alonzo was in here, and he said, no, 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 it's, things is getting better, and he was reading off the numbers, and, yeah. and you saying it wasn't. Yeah. And then now you saying that they was getting mad at 
academics because I guess it was a list and then it was saying something about said uh, LA Hey, rush a look, rush a look. No, no, no. Just, he, what do you say? LA what? It's like a, a, a better bus. place now to be. They're not really that violent no more. No, 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 no. And, and then, okay, did he say that? And then, and what's his intent when he say that? Podcasting niggas now. Yeah. So, 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 so he wasn't saying, because you tried to make it seem like he was saying it's a better place now and uh, you go get your money there and they, yeah. these game bankers are good people. He didn't mm-hmm. say that, right? So because he, you, you, you tried to soften the blow. No, 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 no. And, listen, and, right? And, 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 and what was his intent? Listen, right? Listen, sure. The intent was probably to discredit Brick Baby's gangster. No, 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 no. But yeah. you can't can't hit people with straight bullets just trying to discredit Brick Baby because you say Brick Baby or say the '60s. No, no. He so, said yeah. he said California, LA. Yeah. Like they, basically, we not like that. You made a blanket sure. statement on right. all of us. Yeah, but though, here even in his attempt at disrespect. It was still a, a huge compliment to the city of LA. Saying, okay, okay, pause right there. Yeah. So you admit that he his intent was to disrespect. That's what you just said, right? To discredit Brick Baby, yes. No, 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 no. Did he say Brick Baby name in here? Yes. He, he was talking about off. like like Brick Baby banning Young and Ace and them, and he, he's saying Brick, you cannot ban the, the Florida like dudes, right? Because like y'all not even as tough as these things here. See that that and, that, and y'all there it go. Sure. So, so why was you trying to defend that when he he's trying to di- directly uh, 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 disrespect like a whole yeah. demographic out here? And here's why, right? Because I ain't gonna argue on what city the tougher. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I ain't, I ain't yeah. doing that shit. I, yeah, I, right. I, 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 yeah, okay. right. Now look, and here's why, right? Because so what I, what I took from it is okay, yo, there's somebody who's finally saying, yo, LA don't kill as many people as these five cities. LA people are nice. Again, even though he's trying to be like kind of like, you know, like, you know, like kind of like uh like uh condescending, just having that narrative out there about the city of LA being nice now. Right? Yo, yo, you, yo you, it's you, good you, now. I, 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 I feel like that's a positive regardless no, of no, what is it. No, no, you, yeah. you 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 want somebody to see the good and disrespect. Sure. He 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 basically he was trying to like insult. Mm-hmm. Who, 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 who done this? The, the, uh, the, 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 the DJ academics do. Oh, oh, well, yeah. but, but I'm just listening to people reacting. Why is not being killers like disrespect them? No, 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 no. But but see, he 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 was in a room and, and he was kind of like kind of run circles around people and talk over their head. Yeah. And, and they not even using the type like the, the right, you know what I'm saying? I yeah. get where they, what they're trying to say, but they making this like we just defending that we we uh, from a dangerous place or some shit. Yeah. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. he tried to. I'm like, all right. So, what was academics' intent? Because what you were saying, that's not his intent. Mm-hmm. He he wasn't saying it's a, a beautiful place to raise your kids and you should sure. do that. He was saying, this is busters. Them niggas in Chicago way harder than y'all. <laughs> niggas in Jacksonville way harder than y'all. <laughs> and, but then you got people that got bravado and give a mm-hmm. fuck about you know what I'm saying that type of shit. They're like, yeah. what? And they try to. But, see, but that's a good thing though, right? But, but, but no, no, hold on. no, no, no. Yeah. Academics said thing. that from what fifty thousand miles away. No, no, yeah. no, no, no. He said it to be disrespectful. No, though. but I'm saying he said it where he was at, and yeah. that's fifty thousand miles away, right? Yeah. He, yeah. was, he wasn't walking the streets of L.A. talking mm-hmm. like that. Yeah, if, yeah, it affects Jersey. Yeah. Right. Yeah. See, now yeah. that's the thing that with you, I kind of keyed in on what other people keyed in on. You live here with us. Yeah. Now that, I'm gonna show you some with the change. We but, don't go back twenty years. But he only go where you blog at. He he not wa- going to the places we go. Okay, I understand that. He but not no, taking risks for no what waffles what like PMB. He's in LA, period. Regardless. Yeah. First. Twenty years ago or thirty years ago, let's say whatever. Some of the stuff you said about LA and gang members on the internet back then, yeah, your head would have been took on. Yeah. That's that's the change that has come over LA. People hear stuff, stuff, but I promise you, way back then, mm-hmm. yeah, now it happened. Now the only game go the wrong he, places. No, the yeah. only game bankers he knows podcasters. Ah, uh-huh. he know he know cartoon five three, uh, Munchie B from Rich at Heart, right, 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 uh, right. Uh, yeah. Brick Baby from that building over there, P Nice, uh, 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 D W Flame. What Crips and Bloods do we really know that don't don't got a mic in front of them? So if, yeah. so so we. We 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 cool cause we 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 got all these subscribers and we we putting out content. Yeah, sure. Like 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 I mean, I'm, I'm trying to figure out, and 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 that and that's kind of our fault too, cause people like academics, they they kind of uh, they kind of going off of these people that represent these hoods, cause we in front of these cameras, and that's why I got off Clubhouse, cause Clubhouse will water you down. Mm-hmm. It, it, how you looking the way you really not, you know what I'm saying? 
and then I can't have 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 an Inglewood or IFG looking stupid at all. Right. So I, I just deleted the whole app. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So like like it be kind of our fault too if you see a brick baby crash out, uh, running around the whole no jumper facility. And then you see me drunk on, 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 on Clubhouse saying dumb shit or, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So if all they got to go off of is, 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 a, is a, a hood to hood DVD or, or some mm -hmm. shit they see a, a Blood or Crip podcast do. That's why a lot of times you'll see me say, man, walk a mile in our shoes before you comment on L.A. lifestyle. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. they don't know. They from these different states way away. They probably, they, are, they, they don't know anything about the gang culture. They trying to live it vicariously through what they hear us say on the internet. Yeah. And they got these crazy comments. If you didn't come up in the environment I came up in, I understand. I, I can see you not understanding why I done this, this, and this. Yeah. And but they, you know, what I'm saying they don't understand. But my thing is, stop putting these asinine comments out here about LA gang culture when you don't understand it. Yeah. You have to understand it. You have to live it. You have to be there. You have to be involved with it to understand it. Yeah. Hey, but see, this fool academics, you're rich at this point now, and you ain't gotta go to certain places. You ain't got you don't you don't have to be there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. A lot of shit is safe for you when you living behind them gates and you your house is a mile away from the sidewalk. Right. And then see, it, it ain't never been you told a gang of stories and you, you came this close to dying. It ain't that shit don't sound safe to me. That was back then. Mm -hmm. yeah, I, I I got shot walking from school for the first time and been getting shot all the way into my adulthood. Yeah. So like I, I don't I mean you, you go where it's safe at I guess it ain't what's up boy I killed at the mall at the Beverly Center or some shit. Yeah right you see right you see right. Uh, but but see yeah. academics he he go he gonna make somebody that that give a fuck enough to try to make an example out of him mm. and prove a point. Here, right? You see, I, you know, I don't know why you want to challenge somebody like that, cause yeah. like I'm not, I don't, I don't want to compete with Chicago or nah, or, or Jacksonville or whatever the fuck else. But yeah. I, I'm saying like he, he, his was direct disrespect, deliberate disrespect. Here, you see, right? So look, so like, and that's why I go out. Listen, like I go out my way, like not to name LA gangs and just keep it to gang culture in general, right? Like everywhere, right? And like, listen, like, to th like. Hey like, man, stop defending bullshit, bro. I know what right? you call it, like, like, your, like your mentor and shit, sure. like academics, but when he say bullshit, even, even if you want to back him, just 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 let him write that shit out. He got, he, no, 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 he, no, he, right? Cool. Yeah, hey, right? He wasn't trying yeah. to, he wasn't, you, you you making light of what he, his disrespect, looking on the bright side type shit, but I that ain't positive that ain't, in it, right? That ain't even close to what he meant. Hair right, hair right. No, sure, but if the kids and hear him say, "Oh, they not like that. They are nice out there. They not killing as much as these other cities." To me, that's a positive, nonetheless. Let me stop. No, that's gonna make them Let kids want to prove you wrong. That's gonna make the other place that he's disrespecting yeah. pump up the volume to prove him wrong. Gotcha. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. a it's. It's a catch twenty two situation. You danged if you do, you danged if you don't. Yeah, gotcha. It's a two edged sword. It's gonna cut going and coming. So if you tell this group over here, whether it's a group, a city, a state, a mm -hmm. country, yeah. that man, y'all not hard as them over here. Yeah. They gonna immediately like, oh, we ain't. <laughs> yeah. Now they gonna up it. Now they gonna mm -hmm. start doing a whole lot more. So it, what he's doing is, he, he, yeah, he's antagonizing and he's instigating. Yeah. And see, the thing is, you say like. You go out your way not to say anything about um, certain sets. But if you, anytime you comment on LA gang culture, period, in a negative way, you're disrespecting everyone. If That's I, a part of that. If I can get him to, like, to pick up the phone throughout this conversation. Okay. Who's that? Academic. I, 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 yeah, because cause I just think you need to. Uh, let him write his own his own little uh, his, his his commentary his opinion out by yeah. itself. Of course, and, and uh, I think you more so you spoke up because that's your boy. You know what I'm saying? You want yeah. and, and, and made I agree with the, the the side that you said, but you can't you can't cover up his intent. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah, right. Especially if you just going at Brick Baby, go at Brick Baby. Yeah, fuck. Just like uh, Rick Rock got mad at Brick Baby and just basically gave the directions to No Jumper. Like damn, why you just think? You know what I'm saying? So people be catching straight bullets out here. You know what I mean? Yeah, right. Yo, see, right? Like, what, like, I guess I don't understand, right? Is I'm so careful and I limit, like, what I say about L.A. 
that I don't understand, like, the floating, like, this narrative that, like, yo, that, like, I am the most disrespectful nigga to L.A., that I'm consistently on a, like, everyday basis. To, and I, 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 hold. Yeah. Okay. In the, in the video you did, yeah. that caught my attention. Oh, yeah. Which now, one was that again? Wrong, the very the very first one he spoke on yeah, um, something like the gang war and some starting the gang war and when he was speaking on you literally can't speak about food now anything you say about yeah. food is gonna be disrespect. Now, you literally called Angelinos and people from LA yeah. Angelinos the gang members stupid, ignorant, uh, a host of other things. Stupid and ignorant from this. I'm a gang member. Of course. I'm not stupid. I'm not ignorant. But you called us that because of our beliefs. Because our beliefs are not your beliefs. That does not make us stupid or ignorant. No, facts. True. No, 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 no. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, right. So for like that video, I think like I, like I found like a list, which again, I'm not even sure if the list was accurate or not, but... It was like a list from like from like the Cali Bangin Reddit, right? Where it, it says like 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 uh, fries and Big Macs and like T-shirts were considered like di like right like gang terms that were. Di and I, I'm like, come on, bro. Oh, like, oh, you talking about this word? Yeah, mm -hmm. you feel me? And but you see, you gotta look. Yeah. it's just that you didn't understand that. Yeah, gotcha. Sure. Because. You did not come up in that environment. No now, fact. let's say if you was born and raised in South Central LA, Inglewood, yeah. Watts, Compton, whatever, yeah. it would have been old home week for you, the norm. Mm -hmm. And see, that's what I'm trying to get people to understand. Because you don't understand something, mm -hmm. don't make a mockery of it because you don't understand it. Fact. Because if you make a mockery of it, you're going to hurt a lot of other people that are highly, highly invested in that lifestyle, fact. you know? In the facts, yeah. Hey, 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 Black Lives Matter, man. I don't like when uh, nothing to happen to act. I, I, I wouldn't mind him getting like punched on, though. I mean, I, 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 cause see, why you didn't have, <laughs> well, well, why, why you didn't have that energy with, with Nipsey when Nipsey caught him bozos and shit all to his face and shit and, and pushed well, out on him. I did challenge him that, to like no. a boxing match, though. Man, man, Maybe? monetizing? Yeah. I'm talking about it. No, 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 no. At the point of disrespect. Yeah. If Tune called me a bitch right now, I'm not gonna go home. Far away, and then Costa, hey man, look, let's fight in the in the boxing ring for like some. You should have did it right there. Huh? Got off, right? When Nipsey got at the fool crazy, he should. The, the when he was doing everyday struggle with Joe Budden, when Nipsey like and he uh, didn't call like call like, acting bozo to his face. Man, well, the shit he did on camera is disrespectful. Just like just work like dismissing yeah. him like that yeah, as yeah, a man. Fair. Why you didn't get at him that 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 dumbass get crip? No, he, we stupid, right? We ain't like well, that. That's like the, the crips and the bloods ain't like that. That that dude from sixties, he should have got at him. You know what I'm saying? Or the dude yeah. from Chicago that said he's gonna he was gonna slap him if so and so so and so. Why you, as a man? Yeah. But somebody said they gonna open hand you is crazy. So why you didn't get at that dude from Chicago that said he will slap the f out of you? For for playing with it with his with his culture like that. He's a right. podcaster who's interviewing a guy, right? But but, but, like, but don't get behind cameras miles and miles away and talk crazy and disrespect people, bro, and where they come from. You know what I mean? Look, right, so look, I've seen academics and he has offered Meek Mill to box. He oh, offered me to box. I ain't with that Hollywood shit. Right? Yeah, that's that's yeah. The, that ain't no real get out, get out. I, I, ain't, I ain't want no hard. He know, he know that you, you finna be in a sanctioned environment. Of course, yeah. You're not really, really, really finna get hurt. You got, on, if you hit you the got floor, pillows. Nigga, you you got pillows on your fist. Mm -hmm. You're not really finna get hurt. And believe it or not, all of it's for the content. Mm -hmm. The content. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Academics is a watered down version of Charleston White. That's mm. all he is. And like, if you disrespect people and you go at, you go at certain entities. The world is going to respond, and when the world responds, it's gonna up your views, your your money, your, your you know everything. And people understand this now. That's why they'll go out their way to just say stuff, do stuff like what Charles White did. All that what he did, he like, and he explained like when he realized if I talk about the California Crips and Bloods, mm -hmm. man, I'm gonna blow up. And he did, mm -hmm. and he blew up. Look at him now, he's millionaire. Real Straight fun. up millionaire. He doing shows, movies, all that. Yeah. And deep down inside, he didn't really feel that way toward the Crips or the Bloods. You know yeah. what I'm saying? But he seen the jump off. Yeah, and fact. that's what a lot of other people do. They yeah. see the jump off. Mm -hmm. Well, if I talk about this, this, and this, I can get this. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Hey, honestly, sure. though, you know who I think uh, academics comfortable talking crazy to, 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 to uh, certain demographics? Boo. What? 
Nah, the, bro. No, 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 no. I'm gonna tell you because Wack, Wack say certain shit that's not true, and he waters stuff down and make make people think it's a game. Uh -huh. uh, uh, the only people that say uh, the streets is a myth, they they feel like the streets failed them and they not accepted no more. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like like uh, a boy from New York that told and made a song about it. Then he said the streets is a myth. You know what I mean? Yeah. That that hell no. Nah, you better believe it. That nah, somebody, bro, somebody will do it to you. What about the other cat out of New York? Troy Ave. No, no. The uh the rainbow hair. The light skinned dude. That uh -huh. he he was kind of controversial. Got into that thing with Taxstone? No, Africa Bombada. A little light skinned dude. Oh oh yeah, Hassan Campbell. Yeah. So what now? He he, he uh, kind of like on some some tr super troll type stuff too, huh? No man. So Hassan was the original Charleston White. He was the dude. Right, that's what I'm saying, yeah. Right, like, right. And his entire like message was the streets is bad. These niggas is like hypocritical because right. the streets molested him. You feel yeah, me? Yeah. Right? A man molested him. You talking about a man, right? Yeah, not the streets. The streets a man. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Allegedly. Man, nah, <laughs> he, nah, he talk about it, I guess. Yeah, he talk about it. Nah, hell nah. You say hip-hop molested him? No. Well, he, a, a person nah, did nah, that. Nah, nah, well, he said multiple men, though. It, nah. Well, he, he said multiple men? Yeah. Oh, man. Oh, I didn't know that. No, I was, I was yes, with just him. him, too, but... Can't yeah. put that on the streets, bro. Yeah. The streets didn't do that shit. No, but also, too, though, listen, <laughs> right? Here, right? So, Charleston White came in, like, 2019. Bro, academics was a thousand percent worse in 2013 like academics like doing like his videos i'm talking about bro he was calling them like like uh neanderthals dust mites yeah academics. Oh. yeah see i never heard of that dude to about to like 2020. oh, no. oh, oh yeah he's I've never like heard of academics. right now yeah yeah. yeah 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 back then oh yeah he was yeah yeah like he was like like a thousand percent worse but he didn't show his face no back then yeah okay. oh he didn't no okay so basically he was like one of them little dudes in, in, in the hood that was a coward, and now he has a venue to, to vent at all the people who did something wrong to him coming up, and he just took hey, it and ran with You're exactly right, right? Because he lashed out and went bad on Erica Badu, right? And when they flashed to the the the, the clip, what, what he was mad about? No, nah, she I would, violated, man. No, nah, she said he looked like a, a cartoon character. Which one was he? Some some small oh, shit. with her? No, not at, not not at the point of disrespect. If he found those disrespect, he could have called her all kind of b words. He waited till he was millions richer. She called him Tom. He got drunk. She called him who? Tom, Tom. and Jerry. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> How's that disrespectful though? Not a peeping Tom, but the cartoon character Tom and Jerry. Right, right. So, she so compared they, to a rat. So, so, so that's that's I, one. That, that's, I mean, come on. No, 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 no. So that's one of them females <laughs> that you wanted to hit back in the days in high school. She clowned you, brushed you off. Now well, they went to high school. Together. No, 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 no. I'm saying hypothetically. Okay. Yeah. Now you got your mojo, your millions up, and now you are talking shit. I'm big act now. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Now what? Right. Like Vivi. Yeah. Like, that's oh. like, you right. Like it, not like you right. That it, it's one of them. Like he was. Yeah. That's, got what, that's on what he, he was doing. Yeah. He lashing out, getting his get back now. You know what I'm saying? Especially mm -hmm. he can do it from the comfort of a of a of a video of a. Uh, uh, Thousands of miles away. What y'all gonna do? Y'all don't even know where I'm at. Yeah. You know? Hey, all right, all right, all right. I just want to touch on this real quick, right? Mm -hmm. Because uh because all right, when you was when you when you was interviewing six hundred okay. and you were saying, repeat how you feel how money could be delegated dele de delegated instead of like, you know, you got these uh uh non 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 how you said non what? Non affiliates? No, non, non prop little thing things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Non profit. Kinda like how what what I do a skip. You know what I'm saying? Sure, sure, so, sure. So, sure. You said instead yeah. of giving, or right, I'll let you. What would you sure, say? Sure, sure, sure. If it was up to me uh, again, shout out to Skip Townsend and others, bro. It's nothing but love and respect. If it was up to me, if I was the president, the sole proprietor of all the money, Skip Townsend would not get a dollar from me, right? No, nope. I will say this, right? Why? And that's the only problem no, I have no, with no. the six hundred thing. And this came up more yeah. than once with you, but go you ahead. You don't like Skip? No, 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 no. No, sorry. I, I love Skip, right? Oh, oh, okay. But in terms of, I think, right, like, for example, right, if there's a thousand households that's in the hood, right, um, and let's say 900 households are producing killers, robbers, drug dealers, <laughs> and a hundred households got kids who are star athletes who are you know like college bound who are productive citizens right i'm saying hey listen man that 900 hey listen man they have made up their decision man let's give the million dollars to the 100 families and have those kids now go out and do great things and then come back and grab their parents out 
And that's how the generational curse gets broken up. So if I have the money, Skip Townsend and gang prevention and giving money to gang members to like prevent blah, blah, blah. Again, I'm not saying that it's not useful. Oh, oh okay. right? that's what I had a problem with that's right there. Now I understand what you, yeah. Right? So you don't believe in gang intervention? No, I do, but I don't feel feel like uh, like that's the best of you our resources. You don't feel like nobody, like, Munchie B shouldn't be employed. Why is you giving Munchie? Nah, come any, on, Munchie. No, no, no. Cause, cause, oh, cause, he feel Munchie still too invested in the hood. Cause, cause, so, don't give, no, so don't give him nothing. No, 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 but, but see, but see. The, exactly my point, OG. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, still invested in, okay, look, look, look. All right, for example, right? It, it, it's, a, it's a viral clip. I got drunk on that app and I said, yeah. said some shit and it got taken way out of context, whatever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So now somebody like me, they, they will shoot me some bread or somebody like mm. Cartoon that got influence. Cartoon could be way in Alabama yeah. and then, uh, Somebody pockets getting right through. We call, hey man, hey, hey, tell them, man, hey, stall them out. But y'all see they, that they, though, but, as but, a but, Munchie. No, 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 no. Listen, listen, man. Don't take on the job if you don't understand the assignment type shit. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. You trying to, you trying to talk. I'm trying to tell you, that's okay. Right. All right, for, for instance, and, and that's why I'm about to run this clip and he brought it up earlier. Yeah. You will have a, a funeral in my hood, and, and skipping me. Hey, hey, pull up over there, just, just chill out. Make sure the Inglewood families don't come tripping on the Avalons. They might pull by and see a gang of blue. Yeah. They just make sure shit's straight. Yeah. You can't give this buster nigga from the hood that 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 uh that that job that title or then you gotta get somebody that got influence. You should get paid for that though. That that was really uh -huh. you gotta understand <laughs> what much you said. But, 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 but hold on, but yeah. I'm taking time on my day yeah. to, to go do something and I might not I know not one person from Avalon. I'm just doing a, a service because I ain't on that type of shit no more. I'm gonna get somebody that come from the walk of life that can relate. You won't get uh Poetic Flacco, hey Flacco, make sure everything's straight. They go beat Flacco up, take his camera, and still shut the right, funeral right. down. So here, so so, wait so, though, yeah. so so hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, okay, okay, I, 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 I run it, run a clip real quick. Uh, double A. I mean, that's our community area. Oh, look at that. So word get to me on the scene, and I was able to shoot it out to a few homies that I seen, and and let homies know, you know, a few of my OGs, a few G's like me, and young G's what time it was, homie. And uh, so I want to shout out my homeboys, homie, that was also in the in the greens with, with what I seen and what I visualized for them dudes to have a peaceful, you know what I'm saying? Peaceful, peaceful funeral right there in the turf, homie. And, and I, I took myself, homie, as being a real G out my community, I pulled up actually on the scene, homie, and uh, help securitize the spot, homie. You know, just f from, you know, other intruders from different communities that might want to come through on homies or, you know, homies that come through, they might see something, you know, they see a lot of blue, see some crypts, might want to get cracking, everybody don't get the memo. So I took it, took my, you know, time, homie, and went up there and, and, and you know, help make sure Everything went good to the best of my ability for the for the dudes over there, homie. And uh, I was actually able to meet Cartoon from Fire Trey Avalon Gangster Crip mm. and a few of his homeboys, you know, shout out Voodoo and them, couple other dudes that was up there. And uh, you know, and let them know it was a cool vibe, homie. You know, let them know oh, everybody's straight. You know, they ain't really got it. Okay. That now, was a bad example, by the way, because that's, do we I, leave I, these on? No. No, no, you can take it off. Okay. Listen, 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 bro. Yeah. That's saving a life, bro. I don't know where what they do in North D Dakota. Yeah. Out here, they kick over candles and shoot up funerals, bro. Facts. That and in, in, in Inglewood, we not used to seeing that color blue. Absolutely. I don't know how if that was just like funeral attire or they yeah. I don't know. But but it, was, it was it was out there. <laughs> so 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 that 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 that's a no no where we come from and 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 that that gesture right there even though he don't get paid to do it yeah that 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 that, that could have saved some lives. You know who, who you oh yeah, shout out to big homie uh big pint big half pint from uh Inglewood neighborhood Paru. Yeah, okay, and, then, and then and then and then and then so so they they reach out to people that got the influence like him. Sure. Okay. Even though uh, Tune ain't into it, yeah. they, they will hit a cartoon mm. or a munchy beat. Okay. Because everybody can't, everybody can't uh, 
Everybody ain't gonna stop at a red light. They, they go, sure. they go press play. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Sure. So that's what I'm saying. It, it, it's different areas, and why they, you know what I'm saying? If if you got the talent and you a good kid and you, you got the grades, man, I hope yeah. you get the scholarship. Yeah, of course. You know what I'm saying? I I I think that it ain't even got to come from where that funding come from. Sure. They should try to help them type of kids that's, that's less privileged that that's trying to make it to college anyway. What sure. without that? Sure. Let me let me throw this yeah, out there yeah, yeah, so yeah, you yeah. have an understanding of it. Yeah, go ahead, Jay. Like what you heard on the yeah. piece, the um, uh, one of one of my homies passed away in prison. Okay, and that's where his funeral was. It was a uh, it was kind of like the last minute too, but we showed up. Um, I had no idea mm -hmm. whose set that was. You know Eng what I'm saying? Englewood got that that look. Yeah, it, it, it was so pretty, mm -hmm. and I had no idea who said it was. Mm -hmm. Now, if 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 me or some other people would have, mm. we would have followed protocol and got it those guys first. Because in L.A., when I now I tell y'all in L.A., I'm speaking on Englewood, Watts, Compton. All, for me, all that's L.A. I just that from those. Yeah, of course. We would have, you just don't go on other people's set like that, especially if they off the other side of the fence and have funeral, do what you want. No, you got, it's protocol. You got to call and give you notes. Hey, man, is it cool if we had a funeral right here? Absolutely. And they say yay or nay. You know what I'm saying? Because Absolutely. LA is volatile that way. If they say no and you try to push it through anyway, mm -hmm. okay, you finna get your funeral shot up. Mm -hmm. You finna get all type of stuff done yeah, to you. Right, you right. Your one funeral is gonna turn into two or three, maybe. You know right. what I'm saying? But you know, we went like I say, and and, and shout out to Half Pipe Man eighty nine up um, for uh, you know even allowing us to be over there because when the brother showed up, I like I, I recognized from YouTube and he walked up to me like, "What's up, Tune?" I'm like, "Oh man, what's up?" You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It went through my mind. Why is he here? How did he even know about this? Hmm. But I had no idea mm -hmm. his homie because that's how LA is. Because you don't see nobody, mm -hmm. it don't mean don't nobody see you. No, I mean, ain't and so they had peeped us because, like I say, we was mm -hmm. trued up. And then, you know, I'm, I'm glad they called somebody who had a little bit good sense mm -hmm. and, like, sit him over there and holler at us, you know what I'm saying? Because we was out of pocket, you know what I'm saying? Absolutely. And we was, we was out of bounds, and we were kind of, like, on the wrong tip for not calling in, getting permission to do that. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So that's why I, you know, I, I got at him. I'm like, no disrespect, homie. No disrespect to your turf. We, you know, we just didn't know last moment. You know no. what I'm saying? No, absolutely. Because like, if they wanted to trip, we are in their backyard. No, fact, if they trip. want to trip, they could have shut it all the way down. You know what I'm saying? Had us, you know, had us running like Lebanese. You know what I'm saying? Here, listen, you're not wrong, right? And that's still a beautiful and a resourceful thing, right? That's not a negative, right? Saying, right, yo, listen, you know. Some coins here but as we all know man because we all come from impoverished backgrounds bro yeah. that when you are in and in an impoverished background resources are scarce yeah and we have to make a very hard decision in figuring out where do the resources go because there's not enough resources here so i'm just saying again even though skip townsend does great work much B does great work that i believe it'll be a better use of our resources of figuring out how these babies can get up out the hood and go to college, go to trade school, go and do various things, opposed to paying gang members to do the right thing. Oh, no, no not paying to do the right yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. No, 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 no. To, po to police our communities, bro, because the police ain't doing it. You know, you know the police be down on this, right? Sure. You know, the, the police told me, oh, if I would have made it here first, I would have canceled the paramedics. Officer Rankins, badge 837. <laughs> uh -oh, but, but, who, who, who go who go who go protect who, who go protect us more uh th th better than we protect ourselves and that's your job though you, you, right you shouldn't get paid for it hold no. on no 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 why, why, why not huh why not it, because, look let me show you something these government funded programs the um gang intervention type programs yeah. it's like much you said yeah. let's let's go back I'm, I'm gonna jump off into the religious the religious aspect that's. real quick when you see or you go to church and you see a preacher that has never walked a mile in your shoes, yeah. that has never been through what you've been through. Yeah. And then you run across a preacher that come up in your environment, been through everything to jail, and he changed his life. You know he know what he's talking about. Right. You know he was down with you at one time, but he changed his life. Who are you going to listen to? You're going to listen to him. That's the same thing in the gang community with the gang interventions. Our little homie's not finna listen to somebody who's not from there, who don't know what's going on. You ain't never been shot at. You ain't never threw a rock. You ain't even drove past the county jail. Yeah. 
forget what money you got. We're going to take your money hmm. versus because we don't have no respect for them versus when the G homies come back who walk these same streets that we walk and been through all the H-E-L-L that we've been through, yeah. now they came back, we going to listen to them. Fuck. That's why they. That's why the government give them the money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm, because they want us to be reached. And mm -hmm. you can't reach us with outsiders. Yeah. Only insiders can reach us. Yeah. Look, so here, so based on in that framing, you are right, right? In terms of, hey, if there are dudes who can reach down and go out of their way to make like a great impact that saves lives, cool. There should be some compensation, but I do believe though, right? It's when I see these contracts of 900,000, 1.5 million. Hey, 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 no, no, you go, you, you, you go. I feel like those resources are scarce and we should figure out, okay, this go to these babies first, and then we can I, figure I, I, out. Okay, I, I, like what goes to skip I, talent and much of me? You know, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to talk contracts. That's some yeah. higher up type shit. Yeah, no, I don't know. That just sounded too much like some whack one hundred big, big you grid talk. I, I don't know nothing about that shit. I don't, I don't know nothing about a contract. Period. But, but, I, I just know. I don't know. I don't, I don't know about contracts. I'm just saying, like the service. Yeah. You know what I'm saying niggas do though. And yeah, if you a, a bust or or something like that, mm -hmm. you you probably wouldn't get called. Your number won't get called anyway to even. Help out, cause who go listen to your Buster Ash? You know but what if Skip Townsend gets, let's say, one million dollars to pay out and everybody and keep the program going, I'm saying instead of one million dollars to Skip Townsend, let's put the nine hundred and fifty thousand to a scholarship fund to get these babies. Okay, out the all right. Let me give you an example. All right, so so what, little Kimberly, uh, uh, a straight A student, she uh she she rides the train home. Yeah. You know they 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 got. People that come from our community mm -hmm. on this new line that goes straight down Crenshaw, which I would have never got on back in the days because I'm not mm -hmm. going through all them different hoods. Uh, they 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 giving them bread, to, you know what I'm saying, to make sure shit's straight because it'd be they little homies getting on off these trains, might rob somebody. You know what I'm saying? Of course. That, that little girl could have got hurt and never made it to college. You sure. know that, right? Sure. But you got people like us that look like me and you mm -hmm. that we trust policing it, and not nobody with a badge and them skitty ass pants on. Of course. Yeah, of course. I, 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 don't, I don't get what you're not understanding. No, 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 no. Hey, listen. That's a program that's also that's needed too, right? But I'm saying if I have to choose between there's limited resources, choose between that program of helping her I, so you I, I get the school you, safer so, so you did some, or giving her funds to go to college, I'm choosing the funds to go to college. I, 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 so you did some research on resources? Because you keep saying uh, limited resources. Yeah, like, that's, yeah. that's the part I want to kill yeah. when you keep talking about the resources. Now, yeah. let, let me say this. None of us sitting in here knows how much money Fact. the government you know, spends. I don't know about no contract. We don't know. That ain't, it ain't nothing. It ain't, it ain't no snitch talk or anything like that. Mm -hmm. We don't know. But now, so basically, you're saying that whatever if the resources are limited, yeah. whatever resources they're given to the the, the, the communities yeah. to for gang prevention and all that, it's being it's too much. Basically, I that's what yeah, it yeah, comes yeah. here to me. Yeah. Like you said, you you giving them too much to do this, but it's okay. Because you say, but it's okay for America to spend eight billion dollars on one jet warplane to go over to <laughs> Afghanistan <laughs> and kill defenseless kids that they have done nothing to no one. Fuck your shit. Don't hey, swallow your wrong. shit. Hey, 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 you're not wrong. Hey, not wrong. Hey, 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 listen, let's see, not wrong, man. Hey, 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 no, hey, for real. No, 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 you keep talking about resources. Hey, 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 do your research on how much funding the police be getting. And that's my point, though, right? Because if these folks, because they folks run around in chargers behind yeah. air conditioning all day and shit, like man, they no, 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 hey, right, hey, right. Listen though, he's hundred percent right though. These folks are choosing not to give us resources, right? So hence they choose to give us limited resources. So I'm saying, bruh, y'all already fucking us over. And if y'all are choosing to give us pennies, because again, bro, like nine hundred thousand to skip times, that's pennies, right? Yeah. Right, bro. Ukraine got like what, like one hundred seventy billion, right? Mm -hmm. That's pennies. But if they're choosing to give us the pennies, until we figure out how to get more pennies, we need people like you that got a bag, this. that got an yeah. influence, and, yeah. and we can put something yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. what I mean? No, because because you because yeah. I heard you said I, when I first got to California, I told somebody and or somebody a peace treaty. Now nah, you can't put there in no peace treaty. Not true. But but you could yeah. you could no you could throw something out there like look because yeah. you don't care about these greasy niggas game bangers anyway. So be like let's do something for the kids. Yes. Because you and no jumper y'all got the funds. We could we could do it in my hood first, then go to the Avalons after that. You know what I mean? Let, let, let's let, let's do something. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. 
or, or, or show them how to work yeah, work, work the cameras and, and put some content out there type mm -hmm. shit. Look, right? So look, right? That's now, what you could do, though. For look, real, because right? you, you could make look, a change, too. Look, right? And look, so I do want to do a back-to-school giveaway every year now, right? For me, right? Right? Like 5K of my own cash and shit, right? You know, probably do, like, books from that house, right? Now is figuring out where, right? Let I, me ask you this. Yeah. We got the LA. We got the LA Lakers. Okay. We got the LA Clippers. Yeah. You have the LA Chargers. Absolutely. You have the LA Dodgers. Mm. The LA Angels. Rams. Yeah. The LA Rams. Mm -hmm. Every Angels. season, every season, how many millions of dollars? Billions. Do that? Billions of dollars? Yeah. Do they give to these athletes because they can throw a ball? They can do a backflip? They right. can run around in a circle? Absolutely. Billions. Yeah. For nothing. Yeah, facts. You know what I'm saying? I get mad about that. That's Billions. Cool. Facts. But you can't give us in the community that watch y'all on TV, yeah. that, that spend the money that we barely have for tickets mm -hmm. to do all of this to go see them people, but you can't turn around and give the community activists money to help us, but sure. you want to give a dude because he know how to shoot a three shot, a three jumper. Thirty billion dollars. Sucks, of course. Man, kiss my grits, yeah. man. Listen, he's with right. it. <laughs> nah, right. Yo, listen, right. Now look, and and he's hundred percent right, right. Which is the like, why, right? That like, I feel like a coon even like saying, "Yo, don't give Skip Townsend the money," because like the main problem isn't yo that like Skip Townsend is don't want to get a contract. It's the fact that these crackers is choosing not to give us more resources, right? Yeah. Right? Right? So, like, the problem is not Skip Townsend or gang prevention is these crackers are choosing not to give us resources. So, I'm saying is this, man. Bro, we need to find a way to address the root issue, which is how to get more resources. Homie, the, one of the main problems is, yeah. is, the, is the economic terrorists yeah. that they have running around. A, the, a lot of the lifestyle and things that go the way they go in L.A. is because of the economic situation, man. Mm -hmm. You got rent that's sky high, yeah. and you, but you don't want to give us the minimum wage that we need to be able to live out here. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. L.A. is one of the cities that kind of went the way it went because of the economic oppression we up under. We don't have nothing. You feel what I'm saying? You have 50 million police that's, that's stopping us from going into white neighborhoods and taking theirs. They want us to all stay right here in this melting pot, yeah. kill each other, rob each other, and do whatever we doing to each other. They don't care. That's they don't want to give us money. They don't want to give us jobs. They don't want to give us nothing. But when we go to looking at their side of the <laughs> yeah. fence, it, now it, the it, police it, want to rise up and do something. Of course. But when you put economic pressure on the people, man, pressure busts a pipe, homie. Yeah, yeah, we right, gonna so try to survive the best way I, we can. Yeah, right. Look, I, right. I, 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 look. I was, uh, yeah. bro. I went to a million schools because I, I, I couldn't stay in no school where I was getting kicked out of everywhere. Yeah. Right. So I was getting bust here. I was. I ain't never went to school by my house like that. Yeah, I couldn't sure. walk to school. I always had to catch the metro or something because whatever. Bro, the comparison from the schools that was by my house to when I went to Marina Del Rey. Mm-hmm. I'm like, what is that PE doing a little thing? What's that shit called? Is it archery? When you like with the little arrow? Archery. I'm like, what? I'm like, yeah. What is this? Uh -huh. Nigga, they wouldn't. Mm -hmm. What? They they, they they won't give us no shit like that they in the got schools. Computers and all that. That's not that, Jeff. Yeah. That, that's not that. Uh uh uh. Fremont or nothing. Yeah, yeah. School, Washington Fremont. They they it, that ain't there. But they they all that shit is over there in them communities. You gotta you gotta go way far out to go to these good schools and mm -hmm. shit like that. Yeah, of course. So I mean. I mean, I don't don't lay down and just be settling for anything, but yeah. I heard you be like, no, hey, right? Which it, is it, ain't, it ain't quite equal opportunity like you say. Of course not. But I don't say be no make no excuse ass motherfucker though. No, 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 no look no, right, man. look right, but look, I feel like the streets need to learn from the mistakes of the coon as Africans. Meaning this, right, fam? I don't know where you're going. Man, with this. I hope you go. No, 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 no. Look, no, no, right. Look, right. So look. These crackers came and said, hey, listen, man, and here's 50 apples. Go ahead and capture other black men, right, and sell them to us for these limited resources, right? And these cool ass Africans said, I mean, listen, man, that's another tribe. Like, we don't fuck with them anyway, right? Fuck it. Here, take them, right? No. Yeah. When, in fact, they should have said, hold up. No, no. Like, that cracker, like, he's the enemy, right? So even here, the crackers give us, again, very limited resources. Now, me and Skip Townsend is going back and forth because I'm thinking 
He said, right? Oh, y'all, y'all went back and forth? No, 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 just hypothetically, right? Oh, okay. Right? Okay. And I, I was saying, bro, like, we understand, bro, just based on the history of Africa and how fucked up and impoverished Africa is right now, that's due to Africans cooning and going against each other because of the white man. How did this let me jump on that? Let me, let, me, let me jump on that yeah. a little bit. How when you say, Af- you know, I can't really ride with you when you say on Africans cooning, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? Because... If you go back, if you go back to the 1600s, the 1500s, yeah. they didn't really know enough about that type of thing right. to be cooning each other. Yeah. There comes the economics again. Yeah. You got the white man came over in boats yeah. and gave them things and showed them things yeah. and gave and sold them things that they never seen before. All that's called economics. Now yeah. here it is. We already don't like this tribe over here. But now you got these people come from over here. We ain't never seen them before, so we don't have nothing against them. Mm-hmm. But they got blankets, towels, uh, uh, alcohol. They got uh, utensils, all this stuff that you that they was given to them. And like, ooh, you know what I'm saying? This make our life better. Mm-hmm. Okay, what we need for y'all to do is go get some of them Africans from over there and give them to us. Yeah. Because of the economics, uh, they went and did that. Yes, and sir. that's the same thing in America, economic pressure. Of Economic pressure. That's why China ain't worried about America Absolutely. because they know if America get too out of hand, mm. economically, they can put the clamps on America. That's why America will talk that talk, but yeah. they won't go all the way with China. Of course. Look, right. Look. Let me just like tell you, right, like how terrified America is of blacks in this country coming together, right? So during the Civil Rights Act. Black Americans say, yo, y'all got these immigrants coming from Norway and Denmark. Where are the black immigrants at? So, so they fought to implement the rights of black immigrants having a certain uh, amount coming, right? And their goal was these black immigrants will come here, right, and ride with us against white supremacy. The white men said, cool, but we reached them first before you reached them. So hence at the embassy, they're telling the black immigrants, the Africans, Jamaicans, the Haitians, you know, when you go to the country, don't be like them black Americans. Don't join them. And now the family uh, of them kids coming here is telling is telling those kids, hey, when you go over there, don't join the black Americans now, right? And then they come over here, and then they adopt the white supremacy mindset. And so, right? So, like, bro, like, they are treating the black immigrants, right, and training them to come here and be opposition, right? Because they are terrified of Blacks uniting. And if we understand, they're so terrified of Blacks uniting that they're training the immigrants to come here and go against you guys, then why don't we all come together and say, hey, bro, we understand now, bro. These people are trying to keep us apart. Let's all say, hey, bro, bro, f- the deaths, the, right, bro, we've killed enough, right? Let me show you this. Yeah. In prison... You can you can you can you can mess up, go in there fight stab mm-hmm. do whatever you're doing mm-hmm. for one year. Let's say you did you just messed up for one year in and out of in and out the hole mm-hmm. and all this. Do you know it takes for the powers that be mm-hmm. for that one year of messing up we did? Yeah. It takes three years of doing the right thing before wow. they erase that one year wow. of messing up. You feel what I'm saying? Yeah. So that's the same thing with blacks in America. Mm-hmm. We've been messing up and doing stuff so long mm-hmm. that now it's, you know, waking up to do something different. Mm-hmm. It's not an overnight change. That's, that's, but that's why I say change is coming, but it's moving slow. I'm just going to speak on LA. <laughs> yeah. You feel yeah. what I'm saying? Uh, it's coming. The, the, gang, the gang situation in LA is no longer what it used to be in the 1970s and 80s. Yeah. Believe you me, it's not. Sure the not. lines have been blurred. Mm-hmm. The, the alliances that are now mm-hmm. are was a, was was unheard of in the 80s and the 70s. No, the yeah. way dudes get along now, boom. But now things are changing. But it's taking a little time. It's just taking a little time. Absolutely. But things are changing. When I was coming up, big homies didn't have jobs. Big homies didn't go to work. Mm. Big homies was in the park all day, <laughs> showing us how to do whatever they needed for us to do. Yeah. In this day and age, 2024, mm-hmm. big homies got jobs. Facts. Big homies got kids. 
Big homies got things to do. Mm -hmm. That's how come the youth have kind of fell off a little different mm -hmm. because now that the big homies are going to work, the big homies got kids and they going home to their family, mm -hmm. it's leaving the little homies to raise themselves like wolves. Mm -hmm. That's how come you have this rift between big homies and little homies now because a big homie that'll pop up out of nowhere, you've been at work for the all day long. Mm -hmm. Now you want to come up to the park and tell a little homie, hey, man, y'all need to whoop, whoop, whoop. Man, them youngsters looking at them like, man, fool, I ain't listening to you. I'm the one on the front line. Okay. I'm the one been standing out here getting shot at while you was driving a forklift in the warehouse. Now you want to come tell me something? Fact. So, you know, we're going through that transitional period. Yeah, of course. It, and the transitional period does not end in just one year. It may take 10 years, yeah. 20 years, however many years it's going to take. But the change is coming. Okay. And it's going to change. You know what I'm saying? Huh. Um, the, Like I say, the gang lifestyle in L.A. now is changing. We don't know what it's going to be next year. Mm -hmm. We don't gonna know what it's going to be 10 years from now. Yeah. But I do see it going in a positive direction because there wasn't no gang intervention then. Yeah. It wasn't Crips and Bloods mingling the way they do now. So things are changing. Okay. It's just going to take a little time, man. You know, we're going to have right. to have a little patience. Yeah, man. Hey, like, hopefully, man, listen, man, I see the day, man, you know, that just us, man, just being black, whether it's right. black Americans, it's Jamaicans, it's Africans, man, that we just all come together, bro, and just realize, man, that we only have, like, just one enemy, man. And, and it's coming. It facts. That's why I tell you about adversity. It facts. It's just like being on in a prison yard. Yeah. We don't have time to crip and blood against each other when you got nine million Mexicans trying to hurt us. Facts. We come together, mm -hmm. and that's the same thing on the streets now. You Not know what right. I'm saying? Black people in a, in Los Angeles are becoming an endangered species, homie. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Oh, and 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 I don't care what nobody else say. The other the other ethnicities, mm -hmm. they don't care about us. They don't care if we disappear right today. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be for us to wake up and say, hey, man, you know what? Hey, man, we better stop doing this. No, facts. And it's happening. It's happening. No, facts. I, 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 uh, relate that message to your boy, act when you leave here. You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, 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 really? Get no, 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 for real. Because if you mad at, uh, Brick Baby, Get at Brick Baby, you know what I'm saying? Or 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 where he from or something. I don't know. Or direct that towards them instead of a blanket, a bl what you call it, like a blanket uh blanket statement. Blanket yeah. statement, you know what right. I'm saying? And, mm -hmm. and and offending everybody. You know what I'm saying? No, that's Cause cause he didn't he didn't say it like you said it like, man, it's better over there, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah you could more opportunities, you know, go sign for a deal out there and get back on the plane and you come back safe, all that shit. He didn't say all that shit, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah, right. That's what you said. Yeah, right. Now look, he basically said you and the I busters. Like, y'all yeah. ain't doing shit. Y'all wouldn't make basically y'all wouldn't make it in Jacksonville, Chicago, all these other places. But I ain't never been to the fest. From what I know, man, them California dudes and, and them DC dudes is the ones to look out for. Right. So, mm. but but and, and then again, I've never been to the fest. You know what I'm saying only uh, all the other levels. You said a shit. true statement. But but yes. but. He he don't know what he's talking about. If you want to insult one person, get at him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Don't 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 make it a blanket statement or whatever. And that's that's all I ask. You know what I'm saying? Yes, Other than that, you know, I ain't got no. It's, but now you know the cold part about it. You said that as eloquently as it could be possibly said. Mm -hmm. But a person like academics with the mentality that he has, it's not going to even register. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because for him to change what he's doing would take from his pockets. And at the end of the day, it's about the money. And he's going to antagonize, disrespect, verbally eviscerate, annihilate any and everyone he can if he thinks that's going to get him subs, views, and some more money. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's what come I, in this YouTube stuff, man. I done got thick skin. I learned how to hear and not hear. You know? Yeah, of course. Hey, fan, listen, yo. Speaking of these YouTube streets, yo, yo, I've never seen an era of like a bigger. A bigger cloud chasers. Like, oh, man. Bro, bro, listen, yo, look, right? Oh, did somebody die outside? No, nah, look, kids yeah, are yeah, bad, right? No, 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 no. Look, yo, like, like, here, right? Like, like, I will see like five hour like live streams uh, of, of dudes talking about me, and I'll be like, Yo, like I'm not a celebrity yet, right? No, no, right? no, no, no. That come, that, that come with it, though. That means on your way out. That, that, that's I mean, just like when, when you that, said that, what you man. said, and I was shooting at you. I said, oh, you yeah, know, I'm gonna call him names and stuff. Let's yeah. See, see what you, you know, you, like, for instance, you yeah. didn't respond. You like, all right. Well, I was terrified, so. Uh, no, I don't. No, no, no. But like, you, but like yeah. that's how you do it. Yeah. When you don't respond, yeah, the trolls will leave. They will you. go all, go away. You know, that's like, like I did. I just, all right, well, you know, I'm gone. Find something else. What no, what no, like you told me, like, 
I better not respond. So I said, all right, cool. Man, you didn't notice that until yeah. I brought it up. I don't remember saying that. Did I say that? Did I say that on me? You, 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 I can't you remember. Said, yeah. uh, no, 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 no. Hey, I brought you up. Right no, 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 no. And then no. he got the skull and right when we was on November. Right? Uh -huh. No, no. For that, right? So he said, if you respond now, <laughs> I'm known to pop up like the boogeyman. You feel uh -huh. me? Before you even know it, Flacco, I'm here. So, uh, so, so now I ain't gonna even lie though. I will tell the truth. <laughs> depending, depending on how you responded, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm I'm in and out of LA so much. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie. Now I would have showed up because yeah. I know no jumper is right here, right here. I, I would have showed up. Uh, no, yeah, facts. But yeah, like I say, that's how you diffuse a problem yeah. when you just. Hey, yeah, and I didn't have no wind left in me, so I like I just left it alone. Hey, 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 uh. Hey, we got to wind it down, man. I hey, hey, that's why I'm like, yeah, I'm gonna have to put you on the phone with uh, Cartoon. He cool in the month, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, of course. Yeah, but but uh, shoot, shoot your handles, uh, 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 Tom. Let everybody know where to find you. Um, I'm Cartoon Five Three. Uh, you can find me on YouTube. Uh, just put in Cartoon Fifty Three. Run it in together. On Facebook, uh, Cartoon Avalon. On Instagram, it's uh, the Overlord. D A dot O V A dot L O R D. The Overlord. That's okay. me, man. Go 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 ahead, uh, Flock. Man, listen, so on Twitter is Flacco Poetic. On on the YouTube is Poetic Flacco. On IG is Poetic Flacco, man. You feel me? Tap in, man. Okay, we at the the the, the, the best of both worlds, man. Uh yeah. experienced uh uh, uh OG uh Keyway, you know what I'm saying? And then we got another perspective from my boy, fresh out of North Dakota, you yeah. know what I'm saying? And they gonna always throw the North North Dakota shit in your oh, face. Man. You know what I'm saying? Oh, 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 oh. Also, never met no one from there, right? Yo, <laughs> North Dakota. Hey, 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 right. Look, right, right. Look, right, so, look, so, so look. Uh, if there's this guy, right, called like called like called like wrist trapper, right? Mm. Yeah, yeah. So he heard that Spider was trying to like arrange like a boxing match between us, right? And he told me, oh, all the Avalons like need to like 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 uh, like touch Flacco because how dare okay, you? Okay, no, no, no. Right, right, before I wind it down, yeah. we were on, like, come on, bro. Like, I, I, I heard that he said something like. He should have never disrespected tune like that. I never I heard did. him disrespect you. Yeah, you know yeah, what I'm saying. Yeah, yeah. So I'm gonna say, match, he said, "Yeah." He, uh, all right, there yeah. he goes some content. Uh, Red trap. I, go, go find that clip where he disrespected yeah. tune and pull it up and react to it. Cause I didn't run across it. And then anytime no, he was next I, to me, I, I I've never heard it. People, no, were, he the foundation match, gonna oh, send it to. Oh, oh, okay, no, 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 no. no he, he said he, boxing match. No, no, no. He, he talking about yeah. when he said, "Oh, I, I can handle tune." Oh, we gonna set it up when we was talking about no jumper. Then nobody disrespect nobody. Oh yeah, well, no, yeah. You had already told me that. Right. Yeah, yeah. That wasn't nothing. All right, man. Everybody, man. Yeah. Find us uh Apple Podcast, Spotify, uh, iHeart, Amazon, uh, anywhere you could click the Richard Hart Podcast. Tap in with me. Don't tap out. And uh, you already got my handles, man. Stay dangerous, everybody. Yes, sir, man. Peace out.